Good morning, welcome to a morning review. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, looking at the pound dollar first, and as you can see, yesterday uh, we did get the shove up, uh, continued uh, move up. Uh, it ran into its four hourly hundred and rolled over basically. Now, it's uh, in its current position, it's uh, looking really, it's at least put this little bear flag in on the four hourly picture. Uh, from a daily perspective, well, we still, I mean, it hasn't really convincingly uh, broken the trend yet, so it still remains more more, more in a, a downward trend. We haven't, on a daily point of view, stuck in any higher, or put in any higher lows. It has on the four hourly, so, uh, it, I mean, and it has got some potential short-term upside uh, potential with the daily pivot being above us. It, it could well rally into that uh, uh, pivot there at 161.49.50 area so uh, that's certainly a potential however um, looking uh, as the day progresses if it does break this uh, this uh, lower trend line here that I've just pop popped on here uh, I would be looking for the short side and maybe uh, seeing it run back down to the uh, hourly 100 or maybe even lower uh, back into the uh, range that we, we ran in for a couple of days uh, in the early part of the week. Okay, uh, that's the uh, let's have a look. cable. Let's have a look at the euro. No significant news out on either of these currencies today. So euro, um, euro actually managed to come up here. It's monthly pivot, which has uh, cleared that one out of the way. Um, Trend-wise, well, only in the short term has it been putting. It's a bit like cable, really, in that respect. It's put some higher lows in. It's put a couple of higher lows in. But uh, um, at this point here, again, it's a bit sort of bare flaggish. It's uh, not the strongest of uh, uh, patterns that we're seeing here at the moment. Uh, looking from the daily's point of view, uh, well, pretty much uh, actually it could be argued it's broken some sort of uh, uh, trends just here um, on from from the sort of near term um, but it as I say, it's it's running back to test the uh, test that line now at the moment now looking shorter term frame looking at the alley again where we've hit the monthly pivot again I'm looking at a sort of trend line at the lows here and looking well if we start breaking that sort of level uh, we could be in for some further downside um, again as I say it's, it's a bit flaggish now uh, if you can get a decent run in the morning that will negate that most likely and it'll push it back up maybe towards yesterday's highs but at the moment is to say it's looking uh, weak and a break of these lows um, a break of that trend line may see it come back again towards the um, uh, the hourly hundred uh, and maybe back again back into the previous chop back down to that 200 okay uh, that's it for me have a great day bye for now